Hi, I'm Tamara from Sunland Hydroponics, and today I'll be showing you how to grow herbs and vegetables hydroponically. And what I have here is a simple uh, setup of a hydroponic setup, and I have the actual stand right here, which I put a tray. This is a two by two tray that I just placed right into the stand. And I have my T5 low light spectrum. And this is what I'm gonna be using because it is, um, all these plants are at the stage of only vegetative stage. So they only need the low light spectrum right now. Once they have flowered, then I can start changing the bulb into a higher spectrum bulb. And um, with hydroponics, you're not really using soil. It's actually soilless. So you'll be using Rockwell cubes just like this, which these chili peppers are in right now. And uh, you could also use cocoa fiber, which the, the sage is in right now also. And um, you want to feed them accordingly for whichever plant that you're feeding. And you're going to be using the three-part system so it's the grow, micro, and bloom. And you're just going to go ahead and measure your nutrients. I'm going to start off with the grow. And you're going to be pouring 2 ml into a gallon of water. And you're going to mix that well. And then you're going to be using the micro. 4 mls of this into your gallon of water, and then 8 mls of your bloom nutrients right into your water. And you're going to mix all of this in really well. And then you want to get your pH meter and you're gonna put it right into the mixture, swirl it around a little. It's usually 5.5 to 6.5 pH nutrient water. Just grab a cupful and start feeding each plant. A cup should be more than enough for these smaller plants, just like that, and they're gonna soak it right up and this tray is convenient because it's going to catch any excess water coming out of the bottoms of each plant. Feed them every two to three days according to what plant you're feeding from chili peppers to basil depending on whatever plants you're feeding and that's how you grow herbs and vegetables hydroponically.